Our next guest this afternoon on Central Valley Talk is Carrie Rivas, uh, her son. Well, I'm going to let her tell the story. Donovan's disease. Uh, it's a very rare genetic disorder. Only 50 known cases in the world, you were telling me? Correct. Unbelievable. Right. Um, the nonprofit is called Donovan's disease, but the actual name of the disease is called Spritz and Goldberg syndrome. Spritz and Goldberg. Mm -hmm. It's a connective tissue disease. A lot of people have heard of Marfan syndrome, um, but they have definitely not heard of this. Um, and it affects everything. So if you think of your body, everything in your body consists of connective tissue. Your bones, your ligaments, your muscles, your organs, everything. Your hair, your skin, you name it. So this disease, it affects the heart. So they have aneurysms, they have um, valve prolapsing and regurgitation. They have um, neck instabilities where they'll have to eventually have uh, neck surgery to stabilize their neck. Otherwise their spinal cord can get severed and they can be paralyzed or death. <clears throat> it, like I said, it, it, it affects their whole body from head to toe. And um, there's currently only 50 genetically confirmed cases worldwide. And my goal is to raise funds and I want to start getting brochures print it up and start hitting the medical offices and genetics and start getting the word spread about this disease because I'm sure there's more out there than what we know of today. It could be because genetic testing is not um, widely paid for and so that's something we're working towards is be able to get that this paid for in order to get a protocol put in place because the heart is essential. They could die. I mean, especially if you have an aneurysm, any imp major impact can kill you. Mm -hmm. And they have this annual conference for Marfan's Foundation and Connective Tissue Disease. Every year since 2010, my son and I have gone. And last year when we went, they told me that if we can bring more patients with this disease, that they will start looking into researching more about this disease. So I've made up... Uh, a questionnaire for the patients that I am aware of and have had them fill up this out. I'll be taking that along with my son to the event and we're also hoping to be able to, with this fundraiser, sponsor some families to go along with us. They get to meet cardiologists, um, orthopedics, pulmonologists, or their eyes are involved. I mean, so many specialists that deal with connective tissue for free. They'll get to see these doctors that they don't get to see here. And they're, they're all over the, the world. Right. Not just here in California, but all over. But you need to raise the money to be able to take yourself and your son and the other folks. And right. so you're having an event um, at North Point Church here in Fresno on, what is it, May the 6th? May the 6th. Tell everybody about the event. Um, it's going to be with a Christian comedian. Her name is Carrie Palmarelli. She's she's clean comedy, but she's very funny. Uh, <laughs> I enjoy her. And the irony is we have the same name. <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> yeah. And um, we're going to have a 50-50 raffle. We're also going to have a silent auction. And we have gotten some great things for the silent auction. Disneyland has donated four one-day park hopper passes. Nice. We've also got balloons above the valley in Napa Valley for hot air balloon ride for two. We have the range. Um, it's the gun range, uh, a $200 membership. So we have quite a few things in store. We'll also be serving desserts. Um, admission is only $12. So we try to keep costs down as we know that, you know, things are tight for everyone. And I, I kids can come. It's a clean comedy, you know, maybe if they're real small, they may not get the comedy, but it's <laughs> clean. It can be a family event. It's going to be close to Mother's Day, so husbands or daughters can bring their moms out for an early treat. Awesome. Where can folks go online to find out more about what you do about the event? Okay. They can go to www.donovansdisease.com, 
and on there there's different um, things you can go to there's um, one that tells you all about the signs and symptoms there's also a fundraising page that tells you all about the fundraiser and there's also a donation page if you just can't make it to the fundraiser and you just want to donate to the foundation you you're able to do there uh, by PayPal mm, okay well okay. your boys 10 years old now Yes, that's a very good milestone because the oldest patient that we know of, she's 47. Wow. Every day is a challenge, but probably a learning yes. experience and yes. a blessing at the same time. Yes, it is. Yeah. And it's been a blessing to be able to, to know that I've been able to help other families through our trials and tribulations and help them walk this, this very long and lengthy walk that we're going through. Okay. Well, Carrie, thank you for coming on and sharing with us today. Thank you. I know there's probably a thousand other things you'd rather be doing, but when it's your son, that becomes the most important thing, yes, right? Yes, it does. Yes. All right, Carrie okay. Rivas, Donovan's Disease, here on Central Valley Talk.